Seriously, why is video production so expensive? Well, maybe at some point you've looked into getting a professional videographer for a brand, for an event, or for a personal reason like a wedding. Well, either way, at some point you've probably got a quote and you've been a little surprised. Now, although prices vary a lot from one videographer to the next, if you're using a freelancer or a videography production company, then the cost of a video can get quite high. And this is with good reason. Now, there are a lot of factors that go into video production and they can make it an expensive venture. So today we are gonna break down everything on the list, all of those eye-watering prices and show you that they are actually justified. Now, it can be a lot more than just a day of filming. Let's say you hire a videographer to film your wedding day. Now, you're just paying them for the day, right? Well, actually, no. This is the point where you also have to factor in travel to and from the event, perhaps an overnight stay, and of course, the countless hours of post-production. You've also got to think of the pre-production, everything that goes in before the cameras are rolling. Now, if you're using a videographer that does all of their own editing, and many of them do, they may spend many, many hours on it. So going through all the footage, the audio, the editing, the color correction, these are all time consuming jobs and they're vitally important to get it right because at the end of the day you're looking for quality and any videographer is as well. So there are a lot of other hidden costs that you may not have considered, things that are not as obvious as the cameras, the filming and the editing. For example, there are a lot of videographers who don't own all of their own equipment so they may be paying to rent cameras or lighting for a shoot, they may be a particular piece of kit they've brought in specially for your demands like a gimbal or a jib and these prices can vary they can put in some pretty hefty figures here depending on the scale of the production other on-set costs may include the price of a director audio technicians actors makeup artists caterers and location fees and permits which is something that usually people get stung for at the end when they realize wow we actually have to pay to film here don't forget about the pre-production now there's a number of factors that contribute to the production costs before the filming even begins. Things like storyboarding, script writing, location recce to figure out the best angles and lighting. It's all skilled work that takes time. Alternatively, a consultant may need to be hired to take care of these processes, or you may want to do it in-house, which will save money, but someone has to do it. And finally, you're paying for the expertise. Now, sure, maybe you could film this video on your own phone. We've all been there and it does work. It could also be done on a DSLR for significantly less money. And actually, we're gonna put a link to a video we did all about that below so please do check that out but for now when you pay a videographer or production company you're also paying for the years of skills knowledge and experience that they can bring to the final outcome of your video they may have paid for schooling or college or university to perfect their art form and that all has to be factored in as well. Now, at the end of the day, the higher the quality that you want for your video, the higher the price is going to be. There are lots of factors that can contribute to the cost, but you really do get what you pay for, and you'll never be disappointed if you've paid accordingly for a professional finish. Thank you so much for watching this video today. We hope you've learned loads. Don't forget to click the subscribe button for more fantastic videos on all things video production. See you next time.